flashes the manly gypsy grin, and all the women are like, Oh, black tail baby, he's a dreamy lad. <laughs> so, inevitably, one of them sees Black Jack Dean. Can I help you? No, I'm good. Oh, all right. <laughs> she sees that Black Jack Dean, and she leaves her lord, leaves her land, and leaves her wee little baby land to go and run off with the Black Jack Dean. Well, the lord gets on his fastest horse, he rides over hill, he rides over dale, he catches up to his wayward lady. He turns to her and he says, Why did you do that? Why'd you leave your lord, your land, and your wee little baby back? And she looks at him with that look that my wife has, that empowered female look. Uh, no, you can't do that. <laughs> you have to be paid to do that. <laughs> Thank you, my lord. And she looks at him and, and she says, I would rather have one night on the cold, hard ground with a real man than you and all of your finery and soft sheets and nonsense. Well, in Castleton, you're going to get hung for stealing a loaf of bread, let alone a man's wife. So Davy doesn't need this trouble. And second off, this lady's had maybe three hours of a fox hunt for a ride. And the next town next to Castleton is 15 hours hard ride on a horse. So she's going to be whining, going, oh, are we there yet? I broke a nail and my bottom hurts. He doesn't need this. So what he's going to do is he's going to put up with her for one night, give her what she wants. And while she's asleep on that cold, hard ground she's so very fond of, he gets up, takes her goods, her gear, and her horse, and he's gone. There's another law which Davy didn't know anything about. Don't ever do that to a redhead. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> 